Today, I'm going to smoke a boneless pork loin. It's about eight pounds, 8.10 ounces, eight pounds, 10 ounces. And I have three different rubs that I'm going to use. And they're all from Costco, okay? Now, one of the rubs, you probably can't get it at your Costco unless you're in Alaska, is from what I understand. So, kind of disappointed in that. So, depending on how the rub tastes, I might be disappointed on it. All right, so we're gonna have three rubs from Costco and they're all going to challenge each other to see who wins the best flavor. All right, so the one that I love the most, and I'll be honest with you, I've been using it for a few years. Costco discontinued it at our Costco and everybody had a fit, especially me. So I'm gonna introduce you to this one if you don't know about it. It's called the Kirkland Sweet Mesquite Seasoning, robust and smoky. This special seasoning gives you great flavor to steaks, burgers, ribs, chicken, and turkey. And I have to say, they are not lying when it comes to this right here. If you have never had the Kirkland brand Sweet Mesquite, man, you're missing out on a treat when it comes to good flavor, not too salty, does have a tiny kick on it for some reason, depending on how you cook your meat when using this. For some reason, it'll bring out the pepper taste, um, but it is still good. I'm telling you, you can bake with it, you can fry with it, you can put this on your vegetables. This is an all around great seasoning to have in your kitchen. All right, so that's this one right here. Now, if any of these beat this, man, I'll be happy. All right, so we have this one. The second one is Kinder's Seasoning The Blend, Salt, Pepper, and Garlic Blend, all right? So, I'm a big fan of Kinder's. I like using some of their rubs, you know, when I'm not using this right here, but I do like Kinder's. So this is my first time using this one too. So we're gonna see how that comes out. What does it say? Anything else special about this? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't say anything else. It doesn't give any recommendations or tell you. Oh, okay, here we go. It says it's good with beef, chicken, fish, and pork. Wow. Get a lot of use out of this if it's good. All right, so we got that one. And then this one right here, my friend and her husband brought this back from Alaska for me. So a big shout out to Tia and Theo. Um, this is called Alaska Seasoning Company Gold Rush Blend Seasoning Salt. Possibly the world's finest all-purpose seasoning salt blend. And that's this right here. Get a good look at that. There we go. All right. And any recommendations on this one? Oh, okay. It says use on everything. Beef, burgers, chicken, pork, fish vegetables, eggs, potatoes. Wow. And this is no gluten, no sugar, no MSG. So we're gonna smoke this at 245 degrees on my Traeger, and I'm going to be using mesquite wood on this. Hey, since I'm using the sweet mesquite rub, I might as well use the sweet mesquite pellets, all right? So I'm gonna cook this until it gets up to 145 degrees internal temperature. We're gonna see how it looks. And I'm gonna find the fattiest part, this side right here, and I'm gonna cook it that side up. All right, so I'm gonna cut this into halves, and I'm gonna season them up, each one with one of these. All right, so let's get the seasoning. Put some olive oil on it, so that way the rub sticks to it real good. First up, we're gonna use the Kirkland Sweet Mesquite Seasoning. All right. Seasoning number two, we're gonna be using the Kinder's The Blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. All right. Number two is done. And the third one is this right here. 
the Alaska Seasoning Company Gold Rush Blend Seasoning Salt. All right, that's number three. All right, so we have them all seasoned up and ready to go on the smoker. We have the Kirkland brand Sweet Mesquite. This baby right here, doesn't it look beautiful? And we have the Kinders called the Blend. This baby right here. And we also have Gold Rush Blend. The only place you can get this baby is in Alaska at their Costco. Now, we're gonna talk about the size of the seasonings, okay? So as you can see in the Sweet Mesquite, um, it's chunkier, little chunks of garlic and spices and flavors. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so, and it coats and sticks to the meat very, very good, as long as you're using something like olive oil to keep it on there, all right? And then when this cooks up, it's gonna have a nice color to it, and it's gonna be tasty. All right, and this one right here, Kirkler's, uh, and this one right here, Kinder's, the blend, this has some nice chunks up in there, and I'm assuming what these white chunks are, the yellowish color ones, um, this is the garlic that's in it, because this pretty much is the salt, pepper, garlic blend, all right? And then right here, we have the Made in Alaska Gold Rush blend. It looks more of like a Johnny's seasoning salt or a Lowry's um, seasoning salt, um, so, I'm very curious to see how the flavor comes out on this one. I already have certain expectations of this one just because it's only like three ingredients in this, but I'm expecting it to be tasty, tasty, tasty. I know for sure this one is going to be tasty, 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 but I really want to know how this one is going to come out. All right, so I have the smoker going, and um, it's time to put these babies on the smoker. All right, the pork is done. It's at 145 degrees. Let's take a look. Look at that. Right here, this one is the Alaska blend right here, and this one in the middle is the Sweet Mesquite, and this one right here is the Kinder's The Blend. All right, so we're going to let this meat rest for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to cut into it so that way we can see how it looks and how it tastes as well. All right, see y'all in a few minutes. Okay, now the pork has cooled down. And like I said before, we have the rubs right here that we cook each one of them in separate rubs. All right, so the Kinders, the blend is right here. The Sweet Mesquite Kirkland is right here. And the Gold Rush Blend from Alaska Costco is right here. There you go. All right, so let's cut into these babies. Let's see how they taste. And let's see which one of these is the winner. All right, here we go. All right, so first, let's cut into Kinder's The Blend. Excited about this. Oh yeah, look at that smoke that's on this baby. Look at that. 
Lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Let me grab a napkin real quick because these juices are going everywhere. This one right here has a nice smoke ring on it. It looks lovely. All right, and this one is Kirkland The Blend. Yep. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. That is tasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm liking that. Good flavor. Not salty at all. I can definitely taste the pepper, but it's not a spicy type pepper. And the garlic, I can definitely taste the garlic. And I can definitely taste the garlic because these have some really big chunks of garlic on there. And it's looking really, really good on the meat with the speckles of pepper and the salt. Good. This is a good one right here. All right, Kinders, well done. All right, now let's cut into the all purpose Alaska Gold Rush blend. This one right here. All right, let's cut into it. Juicy. This is so juicy. Give y'all a good look. It's tripping. Tripping on my hands. Now this I'm really curious about. Just because it reminds me so much of regular seasoning salt. I gotta see what flavor this has in it. Alright. Wow. That is pretty good on some pork. When you first taste it, you don't taste the salt. The salt kind of comes in after the other flavors. But once the salt hits your taste buds, it just lingers. And it's not salty at all. The other flavors that they have, and this right here, well done. Now I can feel the pepper kicking in. Has a nice heat to it, but not spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, I think you'll do fine with this right here. It kind of just, it's like a warmth. It's not really a hot heat. It's like it makes your, your mouth feels warm. So I'm liking this. Definitely liking this. Mm-hmm. Well done. Man. So, if I had to pick between the Kinders and the Alaska Gold Rush blend, I'd have to pick this one as the winner. I think this one is better than the Kinders. All right, so now we have left is the Sweet Mesquite Kirkland brand. Challenging the Alaska Gold Rush blend. All right, here we go. Now this one right here, like I said earlier in the video, this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite rub of all time because I can put it on everything. I keep calling the rub even though the label says sweet mesquite seasoning, I call it a rub just because of the texture and the chunks of seasonings that are in here. It reminds me more of a rub than it does a seasoning. 
All right, so let's cut into this baby and see how it tastes. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be good because I know all about the sweet mesquite seasoning. Mmm. Boy oh boy. Okay, so let me say this. This is amazing. But the reason why I say it's amazing is because this is an all purpose go to for me. And I've used it in competitions, barbecues for friends and family, and everything else. And I trust it just because I've been using it for so long. And I like that the mesquite complements the pellets on the Traeger. So it's an overall really, really good flavor. But I have to say this Alaska Gold Rush blend is giving the sweet mesquite a run for his money. So who is the winner out of these two? Mm. I'd have to say the Gold Rush Blend. The Gold Rush Blend is the winner when it comes to beating the Kirkland brand Sweet Mesquite and Kinder's The Blend. All right, that's it you guys. Go get some of this. I'm going to look on Amazon to see if I can find a link to where you can buy this. If you don't live in Alaska, I'm quite sure it's on Amazon. Very sure of that. So make sure you check that out as well. All right, guys. Be blessed and be bold. Be bold and be blessed and be safe out there. And um, hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and set your notifications so that way you get notified every single time I put out a video. All right. See you guys on the next one. Bye.